In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up and program your Honeywell 7-day programmable timer switch. Seven day programmable timer switch. Honeywell RPL S530A. If you want to see my install video, I'll leave a link in the description above. Pop the door open, push it back. We have off and on. Right now it's on off. We need to slide this on. Now, to reset to a factory reset, push this button in the middle, it'll reset it back to factory reset. The switch displays the time in 24 hour format by default. So after we did a reset, it'll take it back to a 24 hour format. To change to a 12 hour format or vice versa, now we need to push the minute and the hour together so that we can change that to our 12 hour. The hour and the minute together. Now we have it switched over, just that easy. If you want to switch it back, hour and minute and now it's back on to a 24 hour format once again hour and minute and now there we go we are now at a 12 hour format now we're going to set the time using our hour and minute buttons we've selected the 12 hour format so we're going to ensure that the pm appears on the screen when an afternoon time is displayed so we are going to do hour, let's say we want this time right now to be 10 o'clock. And let's make it, let's make it 10, 15. If you're not sure if you set the 24 hour mark right to 12 hour, you can just run this up to you see PM displayed. And now there you go. So you would have it at 1.15 p.m. So we'll just do that hour back down again. I'm gonna go back to saying it's 10 o'clock. Now we're gonna set the day. So we're gonna use the day button here to do Monday, Tuesday, as you see it moves across the bottom here. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and back to Monday. So let's say today would be, uh, say today is Friday. So, so far we've got Friday at 10.15. Now that that's set, now all we have to do is push one of the control buttons or close the switch door to return to normal operation. So if we're just gonna go ahead and set that to 10.15 on Friday, we'll just hit this and there we go. You can do the same thing by closing the door on off. The programmable switch has two operating modes. There's a manual mode and an auto mode. The manual mode gives you the ability to turn it off and on without anything coming on with the program at all. If you just want to turn on and off, whatever it is this goes to, just push this. Now it's on. Now it's off. Now I'm going to show you how to set the seven individual programs. For each program, you must set an on and off time. Just to show you where to set each program, should you want to use all seven programs, we'll go through the programs. So you have P1, which is program one, on time, hit it again. You have the off time, program one, on time for program two, off time, program two, on time, program three, off time, program three, and so on and so forth. If you have a program set, what we'd want to do, hit program, hold it in for a few minutes, and it'll reset it. There you go. And you hit program, that was the on time. This is the off time, it's reset. So now as we go through, we'll see all of whatever that we set up is reset. Now to set a program, we're gonna go in and hit program, PGM button. Then we're gonna go in and do day. Because this is an outside light, I want it to come on and off every day. 
So if I hit day, I can choose a day. But if I get all the way to the end, it'll light up for seven days. I want this to come on and off every day for seven days. Now I'm gonna set the on time. I want it to come on, set my hour to my on time. I want this to come on at 7.30. That's our on time. Then program. Now this is the off time program one. Now on program one off time, it's already preset for us. We chose every day of the week, so we don't have to worry with that. Just have to set the hour we want it to go off at. So we're gonna want this to run all night and go off in the morning. So we're gonna want this to go off about seven o'clock in the morning. Then we're gonna hit our program button. Then it brings us on to program two. Because it's just our outside lights we're operating, we're not gonna set any more programs since we're not doing anything there. On time at 7.30 for program one. Hit program again. Off time at 7 a.m. every day of the week. Then if we're done and we like what we chose and that's our setup, just simply hit one of the buttons or push the face back down and hit one. And there you go. We still have this on main. So that means that we did set a timer, but we didn't activate it yet. So now we have to activate the timer. Now to switch modes, simply put back down our lid. Then we hold down this button for about three seconds. There you go, auto, and it's off because right now is not the time it's supposed to come on. But if we wanted to have this lights on right now, we could go ahead and do that by just simply doing on. So now it's flashing, telling us we're still in auto mode, but we do have it on right now. So if you want it off, just push it again, and now it's off. This will not affect your automatic times on and off. We can't thank you enough. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, leave us a comment down below what you thought of our video, which was the best parts of the video that you really liked. That sure helps us out. We will know how to make better content for you into the future. And we thank you. We'll see you next time, guys. Bye. Booyah.